It is almost like a ghetto to end all ghettos on the edge of an old medievalism moving inherently somehow into the 20th century, an alien and exotic culture, a crime story, a romance story, brilliantly done with the available technology of the time. The cinematography is amazing. The acting is incredible. Charles Boyer, Hedy Lamar, Jean Lockhart, the father of June Lockhart, and Alan Hale Sr., and a whole slew of others, 1938 Algiers. Dating to a time when the French Empire still controlled Algeria, although if you look it up, unique historical circumstances, Algeria was considered incorporated as part of France, not simply owned by France. The large ghetto area of which I speak, the ethnic stronghold built up over centuries, like I say, a type of medieval sanctuary known as the Casbah. Pepe Lamoco has fled France. He is a criminal. We don't get a lot of details of his crime, although we do see him fencing or attempting to fence stolen valuables within the Casbah. He has fled from France, and because of his mixed ethnic background, he is able to blend in in this area, the Casbah, which is filled with people of, of African descent, of Arabian descent, of all sorts of people from around the world. This was one of those cosmopolitan cities from antiquity on because of where it was located. But now part of France, this part of the city, this quarter is this multi-layered Rick Rex sort of constructed like a one giant building in a sense where you can move easily from one building to another by opening and closing a door, jumping from one rooftop to the next, and yet they enter mingle together in this cobweb fashion. Detective from Paris is on scene, come to take the criminal Pepe Lamoco back to see him prosecuted for his crimes. But alas, he is in the Casbah. Getting in there and getting out with him is near impossible. People disappear and vanish down tunnels and trapdoors, and he's got plenty of people to tell him when you're on your way. It is an almost lawless quarter of town that in a strange sort of organized crime sense is self-policing, if there's such a thing for this applicable. The story is really interesting because we get a lot of interesting characters. We get the, uh, the native detective who apparently is uh, sort of Middle Eastern, North African, ethnically Islamic in apparel. He is a detective though for the French police as they are in Algeria and knows the people of the Casbah. He moves interchangeably between both cultures and you pick up, so right away you kind of get this idea that maybe he is not trustworthy, which is an interesting part of the story. And of course, Moko has lots of different spies and contacts and people and there's a love story of his, the woman that he's with versus the woman that he wants and Hedy Lamar playing the fiance of a fat rich man that she has agreed to marry up front telling him it is not for love, but now she finds herself in love with the underworld criminal. In the end, ultimately, it is our native detective that ends up sort of uh, breaking the case open. <laughs> he is the one that has been finessing things. He knows all of these people, including the criminal. There's a sort of a mutual respect sort of aspect there, though he does not approve of his criminality. And over time, it is our native detective that is able to sort of flesh it out and capture the, capture the bad guy when he leaves the protection of the Casbah region of the city. It really is, for, it's 1938, it's an old black and white film, thankfully. I wouldn't want to see it colorized. It's always been controversial. But artistically speaking, watching it in this raw, very primitive footage we have left of the overview of the city, 
they did such a good job with backgrounds and, and canopies and pictures and whatever they did to give a plausible sense of overlooking this part of the city and in this era and dealing with all of this stuff in a way that it comes out not feeling cheap. It comes out feeling like a really quality film made in the time and setting there in Algiers. It's just really good stuff. There's a lot of bad movies from the era. There's a lot that were good at the time, but just don't hold up well. Everything about this film, the, the acting, the cinematography, the way the story comes together, it feels much more like a good quality movie of a later era, and yet it's in this old scratchy black and white footage. But if you can find it, I found it on YouTube for free. I believe it's on Tubi, a bunch of others. Find it, check it out. Let me know what you think. I really enjoyed it. 1938, Algiers.